Good morning, Hunter Henry. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, I needed a win. That felt, uh, it's funny because I think to the people on the outside, it is the how in the world do we break it down. But for you guys, it's just the result at the end of the day, is it not? Of course. I mean, it's a W in the in, in the win column. That's exactly what we needed, especially on a short week after a tough one last week for sure. And so it was it was nice to get a W. What was the atmosphere in there like? Because I feel like for the first time in years, the Jets – Players, fans, everything have had a little bit more confidence. They came in at 5-2, and two, and they kind of marked this one almost as their Super Bowl. They had this long losing streak, now 13 games against the Patriots. But what was it like in there yesterday? Yeah, it was a, it was a good atmosphere, and, I mean, they were, they were ready to go. Uh, they had a lot of energy, and it, it, it was a fun stadium to be in yesterday. Uh, I can imagine. Offensively, some good, some bad, but it's not – you know, like ripping on all cylinders just yet. Do you feel like you're you're getting there, you're working towards there? There's been so much made about Mac, playing for him, things like that. I think it sort of quelled all of the issues that people might have had. Hey, are these guys going to rally and play for Mac Jones? But do you feel like you're like a four-cylinder car but only running on three cylinders right now? Yeah, we did play good yesterday. I mean, offensively, uh, especially. I mean, our defense and our special teams really, really came to play good yesterday. You know, we were going against a, a, a top caliber defense, and they were, you know, they're they're really, really good up front, and put a lot of pressure on us. And they played well, man. And you know, we just we didn't come come together. You know, we had some spurts there. We had moments. Uh, we had right. moments for sure. And I think that's what we got. We just got to be more consistent um, and be a little bit better offensively I mean we we put a lot on our defense and our special teams yesterday and we, and I know we're going to learn from that today and try to continue to keep moving forward I mean that's that's the only thing you can really do on a positive how good is Ramondre Stevenson been oh he's he's, he's <laughs> great man I mean y'all see it I mean we see it every day he, he's been tremendous man and we've needed him every single week man he's 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 doing great 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 things I mean he's he's making guys miss uh, making things happen that you know probably even shouldn't happen uh, it's it, he's he's doing a tremendous job uh, you, you mentioned some of the the offensive struggles the run game still there a little bit and able to piece it together in spurts right and there was the kind of the no huddle series where you guys move the ball down the field. Then there's going for it on fourth and one. And to us on the outside, which you all probably haven't heard, there's been a lot of talk about the pressing the ball down the field. Is it necessary in certain situations? And then there's going for it on fourth and one. Is that a part of the – I don't even want to call it the rebuilding. How much of that to guys like you is the trust factor of, hey, you know what, we might not be great, but they're going to allow us to try to go for it on fourth and one. Yeah, I think in those situations we needed it, man. We just we needed some momentum going on our side. So obviously we didn't get the first one. We got the second one in the second half. Um, but we just we needed some momentum offensively, and I think at least it gives you know you pick one of those up in a in a big crucial si- situation. We knew we needed points too. I mean, touchdowns are obviously way bigger than field goals, and especially when you get down in the red zone. We just needed to score points. So, obviously, the fir- not getting the first one, but the second one coming out of the second half, getting that one and scoring on it, too, was, was huge for momentum. A lot has been made about the changing of the offense from last year to this year. Last year, you guys came in a lot of new faces together, whether it was you, Mac, Aguilar, Bourne, John U. Smith. And if you take last year as a baseline and now you look at this season, do you, do you see the light at the end of the tunnel? Like, should this offense – be better than what you guys were a year ago at some point? Yeah, we have a lot of talent. We just got to put it all together. And, you know, we're, I think we're just continuing to climb. Well, you know, we trying to continue to get better. I mean, we went through some struggles here, especially, you know, under center. I mean, we had three different weeks with three different guys. So, I mean, that was, you know, we're working our way back from that too. And, and you know, it is what it is. I mean, we're just going to keep plugging away, though. Uh, and, uh, Bill Belichick had a lot of nice things to say about Mac Jones after the game in terms of the way he battled, things like that. You're in the huddle with the guy. To us on the outside, it's like his head's got to be spinning. Like, what is going on? How's your guy doing? What's it been like him sort of back in that huddle knowing that, at least we think knowing, that he wasn't going anywhere in yesterday's game? That's our guy, man. Um, he's our leader. I mean, we named him a captain for a reason. Dude's a stud, and we were going to ride with him, you know, no matter what. So, I mean, he 
He was super steady, super calm. I mean, obviously there was a lot thrown at him yesterday. I mean, he was he was you know taking taking a beating and dude's tough. Just stands in there, continues continues to come come back, continues to kind of just be a leader on the sidelines too, be a leader in that huddle, and you know. We love him for that. So, I mean, he, he's a stud, and he's only going to continue to get better and, you know, continue to kind of get back in the rhythm of the game. I think that was huge. Now that we're at the halfway point of the season, are you looking around at all at what other teams are doing, what what their records are, things like that, or is it still at the point where you're really just focused on, on what you guys can do? I mean, obviously you see it, but I, I think we we got to focus on what we got to focus on, man. I mean, and just take it week in, week out. It, it really is what it is. I mean, you kind of have to have a 1-0 and mindset at this point. I mean, it's – you know, we, we struggled out of the gates, and we've kind of recovered a little bit. But still, I mean, we just got to take it week by week, man, and not, not look too far ahead. Uh, are you looking to the bye week, though? Like, is it hard <laughs> not to think about? Like, there's a little light there at the end of the tunnel to kind of catch that break. It feels like it's coming. It might be coming at the perfect time, given some of the injuries, some of the changes of quarterback, things like that. Yeah, I mean, it's a good it's a good timing bye week for sure. We got we got a big one this weekend, especially especially here at home. So, I mean, we'll be excited for that. I mean, we're ready to go for this one. And uh, but bye week is is always nice to kind of recoup. And it, I know we've talked to you a couple of different times, but today you have a bit of a cat that ate the canary feel to you. I don't know why you're very smiling, <laughs> like you're smiling. I'm smiling. Well, what but we it's all about? but it's almost like he's the, a big Halloween guy. Well, maybe. oh well, I know we're going to get to that. I know you're going to get to that. But there's <laughs> definitely the you know, to the outside world, it might feel like there's a little tornado here, but yet you're just standing in the field, not even affected by it. It's why, just it's why would I be affected? Just a pure observation. That's all. Come there's on, very I'm much. A, a, I'm a happy guy. I I know that. I understand. But yeah, the, very but, positivity. But right you, here. Well, there you go. There, uh, there we go. Right? So we, we definitely need. We definitely yeah. need a little yeah. bit of that. That yeah. The first quarter shook everybody in uh, mm-hmm. in multiple ways, and that Quinn and Williams like. He's a dude, right? Yeah, I mean they got a front over there for sure. I mean they're they're really really good. Best front and you guys have played this year? I would say just across the board. I mean they work like four really, down. They yeah. work really well together. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They they've uh, they played together last year. I think a, a few of them have played a few years together. So it's you know it's their communication is great. They're moving. They move and they. I mean they're big. Um, and you know they can. That's what stood out to me. Yeah. Like, not only are they active, but they're big. Like, when you used to see Indomitian and Sue, yeah. and you'd I mean, be they, like, God dang, look yeah. at the size of that guy's yeah. arms. They're good. Yeah, they're tough to go against. I mean, we're going to see them again. I mean, we play this week a bye, and then we play them again. Oh, so. they're waiting for you, yeah. according to oh, Zach Wilson. Yeah, Zach's oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, the whole, oh, we get him in two weeks was his gotcha. line after oh. the game. All right. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah we'll have these guys in two weeks. a true statement, I guess. <laughs> Factually, <laughs> yeah. you cannot argue with the yeah. fact that. All right, now to Halloween. All right, do you have a costume picked out for this year? What's your favorite candy? And what's your favorite horror movie? Ooh, hor- let's start with horror movie. Okay. Uh, do not like horror movies. Oh. I don't. I just. I don't like to be scared. Okay. Why? Fair there's. Enough. There's. I don't know. I. I just. I. I don't like them. Okay. okay. Fair enough. Favorite candy. It's tough. Yeah, see, these are the do- tough questions. He's doing you know? some thinking here. No, I mean, there's a lot of good candies, right? Answer, like, right? Like, I mean, there's a lot. Yeah. Are you a chocolate? Probably just like, yeah, chocolate. You're I'm going to go chocolate, 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 probably. Just I'm going to go just like. Generic chocolate? I'm going to go M&M's. M&M's, okay. okay. Well, we got M&Ms. bowls of them around here. Help yourself on the way out. We got well, bowls. he's in season. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Go oh, yeah, on. Right, right. What are we doing? Now, now. And then costume. Costume. Okay, well, you know, so I had a, my son last year. But he's about to be one. So, I, you know, I, we have to do the group costume with the family and Got stuff. It. <laughs> Got it. So, my son Honestly. is a bee, okay? So, okay, my son's going to be a bumblebee. Nice. So, you going to dress the hive now? <laughs> giant so giant me hive and, Me and my wife are beekeepers. Oh, beekeepers. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, Very yeah, good. The costume is a, yeah, it's a little. It's, it's, it's a little much? It's, yeah, it's a little. It's tough. Like the big but it's all right. You know, I, yeah, I'm a good You can go fencing in it and stuff like sport. that? Like yeah, one yeah, of those yeah. deals, yeah? Well, oh, yeah, that'd be yeah. great. Okay, <laughs> now M&M Breakdown. Are you a caramel M&M? Are you a almond M&M guy? Are you a peanut M&M okay, guy? Okay, so the new – what I've been on lately – Peanut butter M and M's. The peanut butter yes. M and M's. Yeah, they are. That's nice. They are something serious. They're steel. They're sneaky yeah, they're good, serious. right? Yeah, they're really. And you good. know, I know we mentioned Lawrence Guy mentioned he has a peanut allergy in his family. You don't even worry about any of that, yeah, right? We're You're good, good to go. Yeah, so, we're good. so you can have them in the house, oh, all that stuff. Yeah, we're, we're full go. That is that is tremendous. Well, uh, Hunter Henry is also brought to us by Verizon. Verizon, the network America relies on, and the official 5G network of the NFL. Thank you, friend. We appreciate it. Great breakdown. Keep smiling, and hopefully, we'll talk to you next week. Right before you, do you have? Plans for the bye? 
I, you know where I'm you're going? Sticking around, I think. You're hanging out. Sticking around. Got it. Yeah. Two days of sleeping and then yeah, go I'm, from I'm there. Yeah, just recover and just and just feel good. There we go. It. No trip to Bermuda, nothing like nah, that. Nothing no, no, no. later do though. That. Yeah, that's yeah. We don't do that. Okay. The season. All good. Hunter, thank you, man. Yeah, we appreciate, appreciate it.